So here we have the ingredients that we're going to be using. First of all, we've got a pint here of uh, a good quality beef stock. And we've got a turnip, a swede. I have to fight my way through that one, they're difficult to cut they are. We've got some carrots, a couple of onions, and of course, a piece of rolled brisket. And um, yeah, so uh, we'll get these prepared and then we'll carry on with the video. Now, as you can see, I've cut the onions into quite big chunks. So here we have my slow cooker. First of all, we're going to go in with the vegetables. If they're just mixed up a little bit, that's, that's a good thing really. Put those in. They've all been cut into quite large chunks. And this is a nice little bed of vegetables for the uh, meat to rest on while it's cooking away. There we go, and we can go on the top with the brisket. Then in with the beef stock. On with the lid and we're ready to go. I'm gonna leave this cooking for about eight hours and it, by this time it should be a really good piece of tender beef. So after about eight hours, maybe nine, this is what we have. A lovely uh, pot roast. These are the vegetables after I've separated the uh, meat from vegetables. Lovely and steaming hot, ready to serve up. Now to cut the beef. Can you see how tender it is? But I have to pick out all those um, bits of string obviously. Don't want to serve those up and choke anybody. There we go, doesn't that look nice? So it's time to plate up. There's the beef and the vegetables, roast potatoes and some cauliflower cheese on with the gravy and yeah there you have it a lovely pot roast dinner a little bit more cheese there thank you for watching please subscribe and I'll see you next time